when you talk about in your dream that you saw these genetically modified people that were not maybe not fully human any longer, do you think that was the Lord saying, this is what is to come? Or was he yeah. saying, this is what is going on now? No, you remember it was 2012. Yes, 2012. And in the dream, I was transported to 2016. So at this time, I'm looking at it. So from 2012, we started praying and we started decreeing dominion in 2016. The prayer warriors were praying. I was calling my friends. I was preaching about it. I said, we need to decree dominion. We started decreeing dominion in 2016. You know, in 2016, in January, and I wrote about this on Facebook. In January, I think 12, I had gotten my say, Father, you told me something incredible was going to happen in 2016. What is happening? First of all, in 2016, we did have dominion because the church prayed. We had dominion and President Trump became the president and the guards were changed. The spiritual guards, the political guards was changed. That is why they right. attacked Trump so much because Trump was against the plan of the globalists to destroy humanity and corrupt everybody. So um, in 2016, January, I, had, I, I was praying, I said, Lord, you said something was going to happen this year. In that, and then I had another prophetic dream. And I, I was standing in the nation in America, in the, or in the nation, and everywhere there was this fog all over the land. And people were having a lot of respiratory symptoms. People were just coughing, people were choking. The fog was all over the land. We were standing outside the fog. And I was seeing the fog, people were choking and just coughing, a lot of respiratory symptoms. So I was like, oh God, what is going to happen? It looks like something is going to happen in the land, you know? And I was telling people, we need to pray because something evil has been released. People are going to be, that will cause respiratory disease. And of course, nobody listened to me. So I was praying and crying. I said, the next day I'm crying to God. I said, Lord, what is happening? What has happened, you know? So what what should we do? What is this? What is it? What should we do? That was my prayer. So right. the next day I had another dream. And in that prophetic dream, we I saw people just gather together. We were laid out on our faces, crying out to God, praying to God, just crying out and repenting and crying out. I mean, the hopeless was just, people were just on their face and on their knees praying and crying out. So the Lord was telling me, this is the way out. Hmm. Do you know, I have been telling people from then till today, nobody is crying out. That is why it's so sad that we are so afflicted and we cannot find our way to the mercy seat. The church is still standing up. Americans are still standing up. They are still fighting in their strength, in their own physical ability. They are not on their faces, on their knees, crying out to God yet. 